Well, February is, of course, Black History Month, and this week we're celebrating natural black hair. Yes, being a black woman with natural hair, this topic hits pretty close to home for me. So in order to highlight such a rich and beautiful heritage, I spoke with several women about the power of embracing natural hair. Unruly. Kiki. Unprofessional. Nappy. Difficult. Black women have heard it all. I've heard, oh, did you get electrocuted today? Or, oh, is it a good day or a bad hair day? Brittany Pettiford and countless other black women have received rude comments about their natural hair for years. I remember being a young girl and hearing different messages like, your hair is so hard to deal with or, oh, that's too much. Tiffany Saunders, a sociologist in African American studies, says anything going against white standards of beauty, typically long straight hair, is often perceived as unnatural or not tamed, even indicating you were lesser of a person. A lot of these words are imbued with so much meaning, um, usually negative meaning, vitriol meaning, and People don't really understand how those words are hurtful sometimes. Over at Crush All Cuts and Styles, you'll find master stylist Shawnee Smith. I'm in her chair almost every other Friday. We cannot just like wake up and just go. It's a lot that goes into it. Yes, it is. So it's a lot of steps, <laughs> um, especially this part. And that's just the beginning. You have to wash, comb it through, Curly wash hair. again, and don't forget, blow dry. More women are reverting back to natural hair care, meaning they aren't, they're not getting relaxers like they used to. Relaxers are used to straighten black hair, but Shawnee says more black women are taking the natural route because some of the ingredients have been tied to health hazards like cancer. This new find also leading more black women to embrace their natural roots. But now we're in an era where black women are saying no more. Um, we're wearing our hair in dreadlocks. We're wearing our hair in wavy curls, uh, coiled curls, um, all of that. And I think that it's a beautiful thing that it's being accepted by other people. This is my natural hair. It's curly, full of life, and all mine. It shouldn't be looked at any other way. It bounces, it flows in the wind so, and I still appreciate those types of moments when I have that. Show who you are, embrace who you are, and don't be afraid of sort of the consequences. It's great that women can now embrace themselves um, and actually feel comfortable wearing their natural hair. Black hair is part of a black woman's identity, and not only that, it's a part of our culture. Generation Z and later generations will be growing up seeing people comfortable displaying themselves in many different ways. And hair is just one of them. One of the ways that we're saying, this is my identity, this is who I am, and I'm being unapologetic for it. Yeah, I thought it was really important to highlight this for Black History Month. I know, Month. it yeah. really just brings a smile to my face. Almost a tear to my eye because mm -hmm. for so, so long, um, it's just been a t very taboo thing to wear your hair natural. Yes, and on top of that, you know, I have a new look. I'm yes. wearing braids now, and I want to let people know this is not just a style change for me. Mm -hmm. um, it's important that we have to take care of our natural hair, and this is a protective style to do that. Yeah, our hair texture, a lot of heat to it. Yeah. put that much heat. So. Yeah, you were noticing that you were starting to lose your hair because of all the heat. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. So I'm rocking these braids. Yes. I'm proud of it. I'm embracing my natural hair in this protective style. Yes. So let's continue this conversation though online. I want to hear your natural hair stories. I'll be posting that story on my Brittany Hardaway Reports Facebook page after the show today. Okay. All right, Brian, over to you.